lawn isn't getting mowed. Floors aren't being mopped. Dishes remain piled up. We are zeroed in on tackling the most powerful production car America has ever built. We're talking about the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Most of its steamy details were divulged over a 12-week rollout leading up to the New York Auto Show this past April. But to recap, Demons come off the assembly line sporting a wide body kit, a drag strip tuned adaptive suspension, and an engine that makes 808 horsepower. This supercharged 6.2 liter V8 is an evolution of the Hellcat 707 Pony Hemi but with beefed up internals and a larger, 2.7 liter rotary screw blower, up from 2.4 liters, from supplier IHI, tuned to make 14.5 pounds of boost. The car comes on four drag radials, but the 8-speed ZF8 HP automatic turns only the rear wheels. Speaking of transmissions, this one features the first transmission brake on a production car more on that in a bit as well as a few other drag racing tricks. Out of the crate. After plunking down $86,090, buyers can fit a bunch of extra bits on their demons to get the power figure up to 840 horsepower when burning 100 octane gasoline. All the add-ons, including skinny front wheels, can be had for just $1 as part of what Dodge calls the demon crate. It's not a GT350R or a 1LE, declared Tim Kuniskis, head of the Dodge, SRT, Chrysler, and Fiat passenger car brands in North America. No kidding. This is a car built to run 1,320 feet at a time. But you can legally drive it to the strip and back, too. Unfortunately, we would not be driving a single inch on public roads. We drove the Demon exactly 19,641 feet, or 3.7 miles, in the course of making three passes at Lucas Oil Raceway. Such a precise distance is known because we brought along a VBOX data logger in the hope of getting a better idea of just how quick the Demon is. But with such little exposure, we couldn't clock a time we feel comfortable publicizing. It isn't that we don't believe SRT's claim that a demon ran a 9.65 second quarter mile. It's just that we believe those circumstances were outside the typical conditions a weekend warrior might find. You know, like a perfectly prepared launch box at sea level and a warm track but cool and dry ambient air, as well as a little bit of luck. We test in street conditions, so when we do get around to formally testing a demon, it will not be quite as quick as that. We expect the car to run a quarter mile in the low 10 second range. Knock off a few tenths if it's fitted with the skinny front wheels and tires and is running on 100 octane fuel. The 0 to 60 mph time will be darn close to pipping the Porsche 900.